holy moly, you know what's spooky is seeing me without any makeup right now. <laughs> hey lovelies, thanks for stopping by my channel. I am so incredibly excited for today's BYOP. Today's Build Your Own Palette is going to be a little spooky. I am very excited to be continuing on with this series. Again, Kara from Beauty and the Frizz and I started this to really encourage each other to use our single shadow collections. And if you are like us, you have them strewn about in magnetic palettes. <laughs> for me, right now they're all on the floor over here from picking my shades for this palette. But for you, they might be in a drawer, they might be in a cabinet somewhere, and maybe you're not using them. So we really wanted to encourage each other and you to pull out those single shadows. And for me, the best way to be able to do that is to curate small collections to be able to use throughout the month. And just like last month, we are very excited to be having Kendra Morgan Official along for this fun and festive ride. All right, now if we haven't met before, my name is Kelly and I'm a professional hair and makeup artist. And here on my channel, I strive to keep beauty real. Real honest, real relatable, and real fun. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, don't forget to click subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Well, before I share with you the shades, I sort of want to dive into my thought process on this. Now, first of all, I will say that when Kara and I were sort of like picking out this month's theme, we thought about doing like harvest, something more like fall themed, but last month's was transition from summer into fall. And, you know, there are just so many like fall palette inspos out there right now. So we wanted to do something a little bit different. And I know Kara and I both really love Halloween. So I thought this would be a good way to do it. And when I'm thinking like spooky vibes, I really thought like some blurples, some greens, some oranges, some like murky vibes, but because we're only using 10 shades, it's really hard. I was going through my collection and it was like, oh man, this is really hard to just pick 10. I tell Kara this every month. I always Marco Polo and I'm like, oh, I had such a hard time with this one, but I did have a lot of fun with this. It was just hard to kind of like narrow this down. So I actually, I picked a couple shades to sort of be my like cornerstone and then just sort of built up around that. So I think I did okay, you'll have to let me know. So here is my palette. I'm gonna like zoom in so you guys can see here. And I don't think that you really see the beauty of this until we get to swatching. So we're of course going to do that today. I am also going to create a look using these shadows. I really encourage you to be heading over to Kara and Kendra's channels after this. I will make sure to have their videos linked down below. They really have done some amazing curations in their palettes. I really love getting to see the inspo. I love seeing the looks, so I encourage you to do the same. Now, let's go ahead and get into some swatching so that I can go ahead and get some makeup on this fache. I know that some of these shades are gonna be Fallout City, so I didn't even bother putting a lick of makeup on. I do have a little bit of eye primer because I just filmed another video before this and my lids were a little stained. I didn't wanna scare you all. It sort of looked like I'd been punched in the eye. <laughs> Anyway, let's zoom in and get to playing with these colors. All right, so let's go ahead and get started by swatching the shades that I thought were really like my cornerstone shades. And first of all, off the bat, I knew I wanted to pick one of the Aurora Flares from Davina Cosmetics. I'm sure you guys are so surprised that Davina is in this video. So this is Chromosphere. Now, Davina has several shades of the Aurora Flares that have a green shift to them, but this one is so unique because to me it's, it's like, it has almost like a green blue to a green to a gold and then almost like a little undertone of maroon. The shade is so pretty. I think I'm gonna be able to get all of these on here. We're gonna start really close to the watch. I just recently got my Apple Watch and by recently I mean within like the last month and I've been enjoying it so I'm trying to remember to keep it on. So here you can see, oh, Deandra, are you proud of me? Look at that shift that's showing. <laughs> so we have, you can see it's like that greeny blue and then into a green and then gold and I do see that little bit of like Mm, reddish maroony. Anyway, it's a beautiful shade, so, so silky and smooth. Now, our next one is going to be the shade Zigzag, and this is a Glam Shop shade. So again, you see a greeny shift, but when I think spooky, I think like a little mysterious, a little like unexpected, and this shade definitely has that. It, it looks so different on than it does in the pan, and that to me is sort of the wonder of these shades. So, Again, this is zigzag. Let me smooth that out for you. So it's got a little bit of a green to it, but then you've got like a pinky purple cast to it. Zigzag definitely has more of a 
like maroony red to it. And then it's got more of that like blue purple with a little bit of green to it. It's so fun. Oh, I just, I love these, but I just wanted to let you know that that's the two that I really wanted to like start out with because they're so fun and they're so different, like oh, so pretty. Okay, so then why don't we go ahead and jump into a shade that's really gonna be another anchor shade. I wanted to have a couple beautiful mattes. Well, I actually have four mattes in here. This is a gorgeous shade, again from Davina. I love Davina's mattes. Okay, the Black Friday sale is coming up and I plan on doing a couple fun Davina videos. One of them will be a swatch video of my entire Davina collection. Make sure that you check that out. That one will be coming, of course, before Black Friday. But if you haven't tried the Davina mattes and you're planning on picking up some of the beautiful sparkly shades, including the brand new set that they are launching for 50% off on that day, make sure you also pick up a couple mattes to try. Anyway, not sponsored, just really obsessed. Okay, so this is Fossic. Speaking of obsessed, this is a shade that I am totally obsessed with. So this is sort of like a grungy, oh, that's not a very good swatch and that's totally on me. All right, I just tried to like get this on again. Sometimes shades that play really well on the eyes don't swatch really well on the arm. And I have been <laughs> swatching like a mad woman all afternoon on my arm. So maybe it's just my arm trying to go on strike. But anyway, Fossic is sort of like that grungy green. It's like a green gray with a little bit of like a tan undertone. It's very pretty. And I think it's gonna go really well with some of these shades that are in here. Why don't I pull out another matte? This is another one that I consider like a grounding shade. This is Peanut Butter from Sydney Grace. I had to have like one neutral in here because with these colors, I figured like it would be nice to have something that if you just wanted a fun shade on the lid, don't get too close to Fossic there. If you just wanted a fun color on the lid and something to quickly and easily throw in your crease, Peanut Butter could totally be it. And again, I think that Sydney Grace are one of those shades that like they don't swatch as well, but they're gorgeous on the eyes. So Peanut Butter has that nice warm tone to it. It's just beautiful and very flattering. All right, moving back into some of the fun shades. This is another one that I knew that I wanted in here. It, I really wanted an orange. I can't say that this was like a cornerstone shade because I didn't know which orange I wanted, but this is Eaters of the Light from Copacetic. The reason I like this, because I did sort of flip back and forth between a couple oranges, but the reason I like this is it's very special because it has tiny little, you might not even be able to see it, but it has tiny little like purpley pink flecks in it. So I think that it really goes well with some of the other shades that are in this palette. I will say, I feel like the copacetic formula does get a little bit flaky, but this shade, you know, if you use it wet, it's gonna work really beautifully. The other shade I had was one of the Glam Shop Marble shades, and that one is a pain in the ass to deal with. So I really kind of tried to like make it a little bit easier, and this just really goes with the texture of what else is in here. That was one thing, like, as I'm curating these build your own palettes, I'm really starting to try to mix textures that I put in, but still have them be cohesive to where I felt like they could go in the palette. And the one that I had chosen from Glam Shop, that marble shade is just so like thick. When I swatched it out, it just wasn't going with the vibe of the rest of this palette. Anyway, that doesn't matter because it's not in this palette. So <laughs> let's keep going with the shades that are in here, Kelly. All right, so this is a fun one. And to be honest, I have swatched this, but I haven't used this yet. I picked this up in the last Davina sale, but I had to, you guys. This is I'll Get You, My Pretty. I mean, how could I not? You've We're talking about like spooky vibes. We gotta talk about the Wicked Witch of the West. I just dropped that pan, but she's fine. And this shade is really a very unique shade. I It has so much micro shimmer to it. I'm again gonna have to like zoom you guys in just so that you can see, because I feel like it doesn't pick up at this angle, but at least you can see the color story here. Like this micro shimmer that's in here, it's so pretty. It is that like gray green with tons of like green shimmer over the top. It is beautiful. So then we will go into the only purple that I have in this palette. And I was so surprised. I really thought that I'd grab more purples. But as I was going through, I was like, well, Zigzag has some purple to it. The Copacetic has a, like a little purpley glitter to it. So what I really wanted was a matte, beautiful purple. This is Tacenda from Davina. And this shade is like a purple with 
almost like a splash of a vibrant pink to it. So it's really going to be a beautiful, vibrant tone. It just gives me those like, I don't know, like spooky, but bright. It's so nice. I really love this. And I know last month my Build Your Own palette are a little like transition palette had some purples in it and that's not something that I normally reach for so I wanted to like pull back a little bit in the purples oh I guess I do have one more purple I did lie it looks so different in the palette kind of ghostly if you will so anyway I'm totally hopped up on caffeine right now so you'll have to forgive me and I'm also just really excited about these shades so here's one that's a fun one and newer to my collection this is charged from pretties for your face this shade is a black with a ton of micro shimmer to it. I am just gonna swatch it this way so that I can see because it's on my pinky here. So this has like blue, teal, purple shimmer in it. Oh, you can see that there, like wow. So this to me is definitely like spooky vibes for sure, but uh, this shade is a bit more dry. I would definitely suggest using this with a wet brush so you don't get black all over everything. All right, so now let's go into our last matte, and this is spoiled matte. Like, ooh, this is like perfect for this palette. It's that very grungy matte. I had another grungy matte from Glam Shop. Oh, by the way, this is Glam Shop. In my last Build Your Own palette, that was acidic, and that one was much more neon. This is definitely more of that like slightly pukey green, more of that like, mm, Frankenstein's monster, like the cartoon Frankenstein, when you see him, he's sort of that like grungy green, like that kind of like sickly green. This is that perfect shade. And I really like that. You can't really see that on my skin, but it is very wonderful. All right, so our last shade in this palette, and this again is the one that I was like, oh, I do have one more purple, because this definitely doesn't look purple in the pan until you shift it. This is Nokomis from Davina. I really love this one. This again is one of these shades that's going to offer a different texture because it almost looks, how do I say it? It's like very fine and I don't, like just the finest of fine. It's like if you took a powder, and I don't mean like chalky, but if you took like the finest powder like and just rubbed it on, it has no, see, look, look how smooth that is. It's Ah, and it's just like almost like UV light. It's like if somebody's shown a UV light on your face, that's what this is gonna look like. It's so cool. So here we have our set <laughs> right here. Let me zoom you in so you can see. All right, so starting on this side, we have Chromosphere from Davina. We have Zigzag from Glam Shop, Fossic from Davina, Peanut Butter from Sydney Grace, Eaters of Light from Copacetic Cosmetics. We have I'll Get You My Pretty from Davina. We have Tacenda from Davina. We have Charged from Pretties for Your Face. Let me see if I can try to get a little bit closer look at that sparkle. And then we have Spoiled Matte from Glam Shop and Nokomis from Davina. Now comes the hard part figuring out how I could put all of these on my face. It's probably not gonna happen. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get all of them on my face, but since I have not actually used this one yet, I really want to use I'll Get You My Pretty, and I really want to use this shade too, this charged shade from Pretties For Your Face. So that's gonna be what I'm starting with for inspo. Whatever happens after that, I have definitely used Zigzag and Chromosphere quite a bit. Uh, I might pull them in. All right, so please enjoy these spooky tunes while I play around with some makeup.
right, so I'm just gonna pause here for a moment. I really like this so far. I'm so glad that I did not put any makeup on though because I've got fallout everywhere. I really, really love that shade, that Davina, uh, I'll get you my pretty. So what I'm gonna do is go finish my face and then I'll come back and do the lower lash line. All right. <laughs> So we are going full makeup today. I figured this eye look called for some pretty full coverage foundation, evidently some really bold brows. So we're just, we're just gonna rock this. It's so funny because I feel like spooky season to me would be more like smoky eye and I just went like so graphic with this, but I just wanted to play and I, I love this look. So while you were away, I, just decided to take, I just took the tip of this Refer 14 and just blended this purple shade out just a smidge more. I just wanted it like a smidge more blended. And I really wasn't fussing with the line here through the sides because I knew once I worked on my lower lash line, once I got my concealer on, I might wanna go through and sharpen it up. So I may go through and take that shade of which I keep forgetting the name, the Pretties for Your Face one, and just crisp up this line with that dark shade. But we will see, but I really like this. You'll have to let me know what you think. So now we're gonna go ahead and do a little inner corner action, get our lower lash line done. So let's go ahead and do that. Here we are with our final spooky season look. I really, really love this look. It took a hot minute. It took a hot minute, but I would totally wear this. Maybe not to the grocery store, but for a night out, you got it. I did not end up putting on lashes. I just threw on a couple coats of mascara. In all honesty, I feel like lashes can really add to a look. And when I take pictures of this for the gram, I'm probably gonna regret not doing it for pictures. <laughs> Hi, this isn't even editing Kelly, this is post video filming, trying to take pictures with my camera, Kelly. And I did have to go through and throw on lashes. Like I just looked like I had no lashes in the picture. So I have on the Lashies Giddy Lash. You guys know pretty much the only lashes I love to wear are Lashies lashes just because they come off so easily. So I really like this with the lashes. I just wanted to give you a peek, but I really, think that you just get to see more of the magic of the shadow without lashes on. So final thoughts, I will say if I were to do this look again, I would probably go through and do my mattes in my crease first and then lay the shimmers over the top, almost like a bit of a cut crease, just because it was a little hard to get the matte and the shimmer to meet up really well. Like the matte just kept wanting to like, especially on this side, just not meet up all the way. <laughs> But I didn't know where I was going with this look, so I really just wanted to start with the shadows that I knew I wanted to use. And I think it turned out really well. I really liked using that uh, I'll Get You My Pretty Shade and this, um, gosh darn it, I'm so sorry, Pretties For Your Face, this Charged Shade. I really liked using that over the Glam Shop Glam Glue, and I just barely dampened my brush and more so tapped those shades on the lid. I just wanted to say that. So. I find that if you are wanting the most sparkly effect from a shadow, use a glitter glue, but don't wet your brush too much because then it almost gets like more foiled. So if you want more sparkle, do a tap tap with a glue, but don't like do a swipe with a wet brush. It just tends to like emulsify it all together. And ooh, this Nokomis on the inner corner, mm, mm, mm. And I really did just keep it more to like the inner part here, not so much like down below. I feel like it just keeps it like lifted and also a little like, I feel a little like sexy alien goddess right now. I'm not gonna lie. Sexy alien goddess with a lot of makeup on, but still a sexy alien goddess. All right, that's it. <laughs> That is all I have to say. I hope you have enjoyed this. If you are coming over from Kara or Kendra's channel, please don't forget to subscribe if you did enjoy this content. I would love to have you here as part of the fam. As always with these BYOP, we encourage you to join in on the fun. If you would like to share your spooky palette, please feel free. If you do create a YouTube video, go ahead and add it 
to the community playlist. I will have that link down below. If you like to hang out on Instagram, please just tag us so we can share your beautiful palette. And because we really do want to encourage all of you to join this BYOP party, we are going to start sharing the next month's theme in the current month's video. There's probably a way less confusing way to say that. For instance, this is October, next month is November. So I wanted to let you all know that we will be doing a holiday palette for next month. If you would like to do a holiday palette as well, please feel free. Again, we are launching our videos on the last week of the month, usually Thursdays, but this year, Thursdays on Thanksgiving. So it will be earlier in the week. But anyway, I digress. So again, we're just going to start sharing those themes the month ahead so you can get your palettes together as well. Again, please tag us on Instagram. I am Keep Beauty Real, and I will have the other creators tagged down below as well so you can follow them. Again, don't forget to check out their videos. So now that you've seen what I created, what do you think of my spooky palette? I feel like we got some spooky vibes going on. I am here for it. I am probably going to leave these in this palette and play with them for a little while because I really do like these colors. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. It really does mean so much that you take some time out of your day to spend it with me. Thank you all. Have a great spooky season and I'll see you really soon.